Hey guys, Brian Horton with BK Forks Academy, and guess what time it is? Another daily analysis. We're going to dissect AUD CAD. Now, typically, our goal is so that you can trade with us. You can see how we mark up charts. But within our academy, we provide exact entries and exits. But the main goal is so that you can trade with us, see how we mark up charts, and maybe you can take a trade with us or two. So let us know in the comments how this trade went. So let's go. All right, guys, so here's the AUD CAD chart. I'm starting on the daily. For those who've been following us for a while, understand that when we start on the daily or a higher time frame like the weekly, it gives us a directional bias. It allows us to understand which way price is going. And directional bias is really good for swing trading, position trading, because we can enter a trade and just leave it alone. But it can also assist us in scalping and intraday trading as well. So let's go ahead and look at it here. We're going to go ahead and first draw out our trend. We understand that we're in a, a, a downtrend, right? That's our directional bias in this case here. So I like to go ahead and clone and trap my price from the top and the bottom. So that way it kind of lets me know which way price may be, may be going, right? Okay, so we're clearly in a downtrend, but I also notice something here. So we go ahead and look at the bottom. This is a strong support zone here. Last time price was at this area was in January this year in 2022. It revisited in May 2022 and then it respected this area. So this is our support zone. I actually like to type this out here because when I'm trading different pairs and I come back, I like to, to just to visualize this and know that this is a strong support zone. Okay. So we're in a downtrend. Now what we like to see is a break of our trend line, okay? If we want to change our, our bias to an uptrend. We wanna see a break in trend line possibly, but this is what can happen. Price can bounce off of this trend line, come back down and retest this support zone here. Now, if this happens, I'm gonna go in for a buy because we know that this price here is really important to the banks, the institutions, just like it did in the past. It respected this area and this is a great buy zone. But before I go ahead and buy, I want to see, I want to look for a wick rejection. I want to look for strong candles to the upside before I just go ahead and enter because it can, can continue to go down following a downtrend. Okay. So we're in a downtrend. It can bounce off of this resistance channel here, come down, respect our, our support zone, and then it can continue to the upside break it and then we'll have a trend reversal or it can continue to the downside following our downtrend so that those are some examples so before we actually go ahead and do anything as far as in regards to buy we want to see what happened is it going to break our trend line and if it breaks our trend line this is what i'm looking for here i would like to see it break this trend line head up here and then I would like to see it break this resistance zone here. OK, so let's go ahead and zoom in just a bit here. This is our resistance area. So we have a resistance on our trend line channel. And then if we zoom in, we see heavy wick action here where it's been struggling for buyers to break through. So I would like to see a break in this area to the upside, come down, respect our so our resistance line now support and then continue to the upside okay so if it breaks that come down respects our support then we'll go ahead and hit a buy okay so that's one scenario right something's going to happen soon we're just going to evaluate it this week so that can happen and then it can also come down respect our channel here and head down now, this will be a great buy right here. So if price come and respect our support zone, our heavy support zone, I would like to see, like I mentioned, heavy wick rejection and then a possible break to the upside. It may even come up to our support zone or break it and start an uptrend. OK, so this will be ideal for swing trading and even intraday trading because we're still on a daily. So let's go ahead and drill down to the one hour time. Well, actually, the four hour time frame here. We're going to adjust our chart a bit, our trend line a bit. So price has been struggling to break this resistance area here. So it hasn't crossed the MA here. So one thing I like to do is add our MA, a 50 MA price. I would like to see price come down, break this MA. And then typically when price is below an MA, it's starting 
to reverse or continue a downtrend in our case okay so it hasn't done that yet so we're going to keep an eye on this guys today is monday night i'll go ahead and publish this on tuesday so we'll see what happens at that point whether if it breaks our 50 ma we're going to go ahead and short and we're going to short to this strong support zone if it continues to the upside i'm going to wait for a pullback to our now newly support zone and then i'm going to enter a possible buy for a trend reversal all right so this is how our trend reversal will, will look we'll start our trend line here it will go ahead and respect that and then we'll draw our channels and it'll look something like this right so it can be it can go either way i want you guys to let me know your thoughts it can go bullish it can go bearish depending on what happened next if it breaks our our uh, resistance zone, or if it continues to go below our 50 MA, then we'll, then our bias will be short. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are you gonna trade this with me tomorrow? Our goal is so that you can trade with us. You can see how we mark up charts, ask questions in the, in the comments. We will love to answer them for you. In the meantime, go ahead and check out our academy. If you have questions, if you're looking for extra support, we want you guys to also check out our Telegram. Our Telegram, we like to inspire you guys, motivate you guys, and we like to drop trade ideas as well. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Let us know if this is helpful for you. Take care.